service recognition service recognition awards that will be handled by uh, Brian. We have um, many people are not familiar with the township committees, which review grant applications and really make the decisions about the the allocation of the bulk of township resources. As, as Ellie mentioned, over 1.5 million dollars was allocated this past year to uh, 40 some agencies operating 50 some programs in the community, and as citizens from the community who live in the township who review the grant applications, uh, make decisions about funding, and uh, maintain a relationship with these organizations throughout the year. Um, it isn't often where we have members can serve for up to six years on a committee, and uh, it, is, it can be a difficult process and involves a lot of reading, um, involves visiting agencies in the community, and involves a lot of, quite a bit of time, especially in the fall when we do the funding process. Uh, we have three committee members here tonight who served the full six years on the committees. Um, two of them on the Money Follows the Person Committee, which reviews organizations, which uh, reviews grants for persons with disabilities. Uh, uh, Ann Sikon was our committee chair. Would you come on up, Ann, along with Nancy Perovic, who also served <laughs> on the committee for a full six years. Uh, Jennifer Hall. <laughs> Jennifer Hall was with the Mental Health Committee. Unfortunately, Jennifer is ill tonight, so she was unable to make it. Um, but here, and here are your awards. I think I have the right one here. Um, um, this, this. This <laughs> yep, <Right>. Ann. <laughs> Ann. Nancy? Yes, yes. Can you come on up here? We'll take a picture. So you're you're in the middle. Thank you very much. And uh, Nancy is actually going to jump on one of our other committees. You can't serve for one more than six years on one committee, but many of our uh, committee members often come on and serve on another committee. So uh, you might move on to the mental health. That would be great. And I just want to thank Brian because you don't understand how extensive these grant applications are. And he keeps us all accountable. And every agency that applies, he is double-checking their records, their audits, their outcomes. So we're, we have a really good gate to her. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I've been with the township since 1997, and uh, but I always started running the food pantry in I think it was around 2008. Now I don't. I hope it's not coincidental. That also happened to be the same year that the economy tanked. Uh, <laughs> and, but, um, our our social worker had left uh, Betty with Valley. Um, uh, rest in peace, Betty. Uh, we, we named the food pantry after her a number of years ago. Um, but it became clear to me that we couldn't continue to run the food pantry the way it had run in the past. We, we used to only have maybe 25 to 30 households that were using the pantry now. You know, maybe 50 to 60 people now were over 100 households, sometimes even as high as 300 people using the food pantry. The numbers really haven't come down, even though the, the economy is good. Um, the pantry used to just be a couple of shelves downstairs on the main floor, and then downstairs we had one little shelf space. Most of the other space was taken up for storage. And there was no way that we could have enough food available to the community based on our old shelf space. And, um, so one of the organizations that we had a relationship, we had just started a relationship with, was called Rebuilding Together. Over the years, they have completely rebuilt the downstairs. They have added uh, four walls of shelves in one room. They have rebuilt two other rooms now that we use for storage space in the pantry. They rebuilt the shelves in the main floor in the pantry, and they have painted them three times over the last 10 years. They also uh, 
we orchestrated getting a, a new floor in the food pantry through their efforts uh, at no cost to the township at no cost to the taxpayers um, and our pantry now is it's beautiful it's accommodating we have more space this is all because of the efforts of rebuilding together uh, which would, would you please come up here there you go. completely reformed our food pantry, completely reformed our ability to serve the public, and a lot given us the space and capacity to be able to meet the needs of the community. So we are extremely grateful. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much. Do you mind if I say a couple sure. of things real quick? Uh, Mr. Robbins had mentioned all of the good work that the um, I believe it's 37 agencies that you supported this year and just under 1.5 million. And uh, we're fortunate to be one of the recipients and uh, all the great work that Brian does and Jeannie. And we really appreciate that. I just wanted to share with you a quick story of one of the folks that we've helped in the past year through the support of the township. Um, we had a family in Wilmette. We have an elderly uh, individual who cares for his bedridden wife and an adult special needs daughter. And last year we came in and with a group of students from North Shore Country Day and some carpenters and plumbers and electricians, we were able to re renovate their bathroom, their kitchen, um, clean up the basement, create some more storage. We like building shelves. <laughs> 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 You know, just taking one little piece of that to give you a sense of what the township does do and how their contributions are magnified. The kitchen piece of it, um, because we all of the labor was donated and we just uh, spent money on the cost for the cabinets and the flooring and so on and so forth, that part of the project um, only cost uh, $2,000. And if we were to hire a contractor to do that, my estimate is the cost probably would have been somewhere in the $25,000 range. So just, you know, there's a tenfold increase uh, and really, from a practical standpoint, it wasn't so much the money, it's that this family now has a, a, a much safer and much better place to live. And it's really through the support and the generosity of the township. So, Brian, thank you very much, Mr. Robbins, and all the commissioners, and thank you. We really appreciate your support, and we're going to keep working hard, and we're going to keep building shops. <laughs> <laughs>